I came to Michigan Works because of the opportunities that I had heard throughout the community of them helping with um, work placement, building my resume, just helping me get to the next level of self-sufficiency. I was a phlebotomist with Spectrum Health. I became ill, I felt really sick, had to do chemo treatments, all type of stuff, went through a lot, didn't know if I would even survive. And so once I was past all of that and got better, I figured I needed a new career path, which is when I went, branched back out to Michigan Works and put both feet on the ground and started running full force. First time that I met Diamond, she came into the Michigan Works building. Uh, she was doing some career searching, trying to figure out what the next steps were for her. And I was taken by her very energetic, outgoing personality. She's just one of those people that when you meet her, you're just like drawn to her like a magnet and you're just like, I wanna to get to know this person. So we hit it off really well. I enjoyed every interaction that I had with her and was always excited when I saw her coming in the office because I knew we were gonna have a few good laughs and get some stuff accomplished. Essentially, our interactions were talking about the possibility of training, but really became more of a situation of trying to find something that she could walk into uh, employment-wise with the skill set that she currently had. So those were the things that we would review on our weekly printouts of jobs available in the area. And anytime she came in, we would talk them through and kind of see what seemed like a good fit. I knew prior to my health issues, if that was to occur again, that phlebotomy wouldn't be my best fit anymore. So when I came in, I hadn't worked for two years, resume was rusty <laughs> and had that huge gap. And then just getting out there and seeing what was out there and changing of different things and learning where my skills were and how I could take some of my skills that I've done in the past to put them to the present, to use current, to get where I wanted to go. The help that we were able to provide Diamond in her situation uh, was just being a sounding board, uh, somebody to ask some questions to kind of help thought process um, the opportunities that were out there and if they would be a good fit. When I was looking for jobs, getting me the transportation I needed, also purchasing me items for interviews, um, when I did receive the job, they purchased me clothes because I was a phlebotomist, so I wore scrubs. Working at the health department, I'm not a nurse, so that attire did not work, so they did provide those things. They were very successful <laughs> in helping me. Any barrier that I've had, they've never made it seem like a barrier. They've never made me feel less than, that I didn't have anything. They just always came with positive resources or if they didn't have the answer, they found the answer. Or, you know, they're always that helping hand that people need and know and trust. Yes, you have to also do your footwork and your groundwork, but communication is key. If I wasn't contacting Kevin or Amanda, they were contacting me. I was in here like I was an employee for the longest, you know, on the computer searching stuff, asking questions, asking for help, you know, and I think that was my success. My advice to anyone that comes to Michigan Works is don't be discouraged to tell your story. Don't be discouraged to get the help that you need. The team at Michigan Works helps you through those, gets you to where, as far as education-wise, job-wise, resume-wise, all levels. So there is no real barrier. This is like a, a strength builder to me.